What, what could I'm I hurt with a drone? Okay, I'm asking you to leave. All right, thank you. You need to educate yourself. No, I don't. <laughs> Several months ago, I was in Kentucky visiting with my friend Brad, and he was showing me around the area, and we were filming bridges and various things with our drones. And I wasn't even going to share this video, but the more I remember it, the more it gets me really pissed off. And it's not easy to piss me off. And we weren't going to film the distillery at all. We had nothing to do with the distillery. We weren't inside the distillery. It was just their backyard and a good takeoff point for the drone. Well, we went there, we parked, went inside. I asked permission, got permission, and we had our flight. And in the middle of the flight, we were approached by, I guess, a management type person. Hey there, we're in Lawrence, what? Lawrenceburg. Lawrenceburg. I didn't know if it was Ville or, uh, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And uh, Brad is showing me around and he brought me to this really cool trestle. It's the trestle, right? Right. Tre okay, so tell me a little bit about this thing. Well, this is the Tyrone train bridge and S bridge. Uh, the train bridge is no longer in use as a for train traffic, but mm -hmm. someone bought it a few years ago and they actually bungee jump off of it. Oh, as cool. A, as a business. So we're going to give you a better view, aren't we? We are. Yeah, we're going to fly on over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a reverse from the entrance. We're about to get it turned off. Hi, guys. Hey. Yes, ma'am. From who? From uh, one of your people inside. Which was, what was the name? Because you have to get permission from the FCC in order to do that. FAA. I'm, I'm an FAA certified pilot. Okay. And you have your registration and all that with you so I can make a copy of it to have it here? I do. Awesome. And I'd like to know who you got their permission from. What was the person's name? Uh, she's inside. I forget. I didn't look at her name tag yeah I asked the front girl and she said that she didn't call that would have to be a call for our um, corporate in order to do that okay yeah well I'm not filming you guys I'm just filming the bridge right but you're on our property filming it so that is the issue and you really have to get pre um, permission from the people to do the bridge as well <coughs> what was your name again sir Ken Heron Ken Heron and you're with uh, Heron Ariel. Okay, I, I'm going to have somebody else come down because sure. I asked you that. I've told you that it's not. You know, you're really not supposed to be right. doing that. I'm trying to bring it back yeah, here. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I hate like to, to dis. Your... I hate to disagree with you, with you, but. Well, it is on private property though that you're filming it. Even if you're over there, you're not supposed to do that. You have to get prior. Actually, that's not true. You can kick me off of here, but I can fly over there. That's. That's fine, yep. But I just want a card so that I can give it to my visitor center manager. You bet, you bet. Yeah. I mean, I'm in a kind of sticky situation here. They actually told me to call security, so I'm oh. not calling security. I came down to kind of give you a heads up yeah. before they did that, okay. so yeah. There's my FAA license. Okay. I'm not going to give that to you. Yeah. But if you've got a card, and give that to I you. kind of wanted to know who you spoke with so that I could ex I could talk to them as well. She's inside. Inside where? Right in the gift shop. Behind the counter. There's one of the one spoke. of the girls in there. There's only one girl that's behind the counter. Sir. Okay. Well, let me bring this back, and I can tell you who it was. So that's actually the first time that that's ever happened to me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this camera going, my other camera, so that we can document this. So uh, what's the name of this distillery? Wild Wild If you're planning on coming here and flying a drone, uh, don't. <laughs> People have their own opinions about drones and 
I, I just don't understand it. The thing that gets me is when you try to explain to people, because we know as drone pilots a little bit more than the general public, some people are just not open to that. So after being polite and showing her my credentials and we were packing up, then this happened. Yeah, you got that? Yeah. Thank you. Good, how you doing? I understand y'all were wanting to fly a drone or something. Yeah. Well, this is private property. Yeah. And without F, you know, without FA clearing our airspace. That's not true. Well, I, I'm just saying, if you crash one on here, you're not going to be able to go recover it. I will, because I'm insured. No, you won't, because this is private property. Well, what could I'm I hurt with a drone? Okay, I'm asking you to leave. All right, thank you. You need to educate yourself. No, I don't. You really should if you you're. Need to educate yourself when it comes to private property. I have. And private property rights. I have, sir. You don't need to be mean to people. But that's okay, you know. Be nice. Jerk out here and be, nice. be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Have a good one. There was a little bit of a communication breakdown. I misunderstood him when he said, if you crash one on here, you're not gonna be able to go recover it. I heard him say cover, as in the cost of the drone if it crashed or whatever. But what he said was recover, as in if it crashed, you wouldn't be able to get your property. That, sir, is theft. Doesn't matter if it lands on your property. If my property lands on your property, it's still my property on your property. That's theft. And that's illegal, Mr. Badge. So in conclusion, I would have to discourage people, of course, from having confrontations, but if you do run into people like this, just take the high road. It's not worth trying to argue with them. Um, I was still a little bit peeved from the first person that was talking with us. If they're open to being educated, then you can tell them the law or the rules as you know them. And people should be open to learning, but some people, most people I'd say aren't. And that's just sad. Please don't let this be a reflection on the wild <laughs> distillery. It's a beautiful place. Sure, a few bad apples work there, but go there, uh, have fun, enjoy their product. It's a beautiful area. And uh, just don't fly your drone off the back porch. Well, they, they put the wild in wild, don't they? That was a wild man. Uh, just to let you know, in any part of the United States, uh, you can fly over private property. If, if they don't want you to fly over private property, they need signs, they need geofencing. They really need to have nicer security people. You see how people respond when you try to educate them? Why, why couldn't he be nicer? He probably wants to go home. That's true. He's probably drunk. There's a lot of bourbon around here. <laughs>